Uh, happiness means to me uh, achieving my goals. What are your goals? For my goals, uh, get money, um, get fit. Do you think that money is going to make you happy? Does I think money it, I buy think, happiness? Oh, she's asking a good one. <laughs> I think I think it can bring temporary happiness. I don't think it can bring happiness forever. You know, I, I definitely think you can be rich. You can be like sad. You know, like once you once you feel like you've bought everything you can buy, then then you kind of then you kind of like the realization hits you that money can't buy happiness. Okay, so what if you get all the money and all of the goals that you wanted to achieve, right? And you're still not happy. What are you gonna do? Damn, I guess I gotta set some new <laughs> goals and get some more money. <laughs> How do you define happiness? Uh, I, I feel like happiness is something you internally feel. Like it's something that you need to earn. And yeah, that's. What does happiness mean to you? Fulfilling my mission. <laughs> I'll let you know when I figure that out. Okay. What about you? Um. kind of a very long, complicated, philosophical answer, so I don't... Do you think it's something internal or external, or how do you, like, maybe if you're feeling... Both. Yeah. I feel like it's both. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't necessarily come from, like, physical things, or do you think it does? No. Um, but it can absolutely stop it. Like, the absence of, you know... The absence of physical like, things, like hungry. Shelter, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. For sure. Those are necessities to life, for, yeah. for sure. But um, what do you do to like get connected like with your happiness? What makes you happy? Maybe that's an easier question. Um, I mean, the answer to that is still just a very large amount of things. Whiskey and women. Yeah, that's a great answer. <laughs> what does happiness mean to you? I literally just did an essay on this. Okay, so you have a great answer for me then. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of like philosophers. If you had the movie where like, um, Everything, everywhere, all I, all I want. I haven't. Check that out, and that's what I think I'm going for. Okay, cool. How do you define happiness? Uh, how do I define happiness? Well, happiness it starts when I'm talking about relationship-wise or internal, like personally. How? What makes you happy, or how do you define happiness? Well, how I define happiness is when someone is either bring out the best of, out of one another or and they're just having fun, like going from one place to another, like park. Okay, so like on the move, mm -hmm. experiencing new things. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you. How do you define happiness? What does happiness mean to you? Um, peace, relaxation. Okay. Um, That's a good answer. Yeah, I don't know what else. How do you um, find your peace? What does happiness mean to you? Happiness? Yeah. Uh, build good um, relationship with my family or with others. Yeah, so being good to other people? Yeah, something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a great answer. Oh, no, I'm not ready. I thought you were going with her. <laughs> happiness for me is being able to give up yourself to see other people happy. So giving? Yes. Yeah, awesome. That's a good one. How do you define happiness? Happiness? Uh, I think uh, I think happiness comes mostly from fulfillment and uh, what you do. So like uh, reaching for long-term achievements. So that could be like short-term happiness and long-term happiness. For long-term happiness is through goals that you achieve and then short-term is could be like eating ice cream or something like that. Okay, yeah, that's so. a great perspective. So let me ask you, what would happen if you achieve your goals and then you're still not like happy or fulfilled within? Like, would you reassess your goals or like, what would you do? Uh, yeah, I feel like um, kind of like when you're younger, your goal is like probably, uh, I want to get a good score on a test. And then later on, it's like, no, now I want to be an engineer. So I think you evolve with like over time. So your, your idea of happiness changes as you get older. Yeah. That's a great perspective. What does happiness mean to you? Happiness? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I guess successful, being successful. Okay, so like what is success? I guess whatever I would define is a good day is 
if I do everything I want to do in that day, my goals. And if I do that, I feel like I'm successful continuously. Okay, so, so what if you hit all your goals and then you're still not happy, what would you do? Chill out, <laughs> play some video <laughs> games, yeah, and okay. wait for the next day and just okay. reset. Cool. Define happiness. Why not why me first? Okay, um, I define happiness by, I don't know, it's like that feeling you get whenever you're like, something happens and then it's like warm inside of you it's like that like that's happiness okay that's a great answer so it's more of like a feeling for you yeah okay state of being sure okay cool <laughs> idea or like definition of happiness what makes you happy um i also agree with like i feel like happiness is a feeling but then like i feel like if you're like in a state of happiness like continuous state i feel like that's more content so like happiness like I feel like it's like a rocky road because it like it's like a feeling like any other feeling it just comes and goes so that's why I think so. okay. what's your definition of happiness um i think happiness is when like I had the words. it's it's like when you are just in a place where you can only go up i guess like you're surrounded by good vibes good good people and you're just going to like an upward tra tra trajectory and you're able to live freely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like being authentically yourself and surrounding yourself with positive people. Cool. That's what's up. What is your definition of happiness? Happiness. Uh, having everything that you uh, dream for or hope for or wish for. Yeah. I think that's, I think you're real happy when you get what you're looking for. So achieving your goals or like your ambitions right. in life? Right. Okay. That's a better way to say it. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great perspective. What would you say if somebody um, spent like their whole life trying to achieve their goals and then they do like maybe my goal was to finish school with straight A's and then I make straight A's but I still feel like an emptiness or I don't feel like happy or fulfilled. What would you say to that person? At the same time, you still made it. So I feel like you should still keep pushing because you did achieve something, maybe not to your expectations, but you accomplished something. Yeah. So to be, remember to be proud of like what you did accomplish. Right. Okay. That's awesome. So the question is, yeah. how do you define happiness? You can't. You happiness can't. is a meaningless construct. <laughs> okay. Expl expand on that. Uh, okay. I mean, so... Just an introduction of Buddhism, right? Yes. So I'm a Taoist, which means I don't believe as much in spirituality, in the cycle of spirituality, as I believe much more in the balance of spirituality. So believing in happy, having, being happy all the time is not a good thing because if you maintain a like, constant state of happiness, you don't maintain the full range of balance among other things. So happiness is great, but always, but happiness is a, is a field. First, let me answer your question from the beginning. Happiness is a construct of both chemical and physical, where you sort of, you know, feeling of happiness is, you know, you're doing it, you're in a giddy state, which also translates to chemically, you have a higher excess of dopamine as well as some other um, chemicals. Um, however, overexposure to any of those is a bad thing. So right. as part of Taoism, you don't, you shouldn't be happy all the time. You shouldn't be angry all the time as well. Right. It's just maintaining that balance. Right. Well, humans have like light and dark within them, right? And everything, yeah in life has As a spectrum by, i cannot remember the, the guy's name but yeah yep. but that's the idea right that you're talking about is it's impossible to stay in a, a place of constant happiness because yeah. if we didn't understand what sadness is and we didn't experience that how would we know what how yep. yeah and you shouldn't and you shouldn't pursue a constant state of happiness because the pursuit of a constant state of calm or constant of happiness is just a distraction from dealing with reality because unhappiness comes from problems in the world. Right. The only way you're gonna get rid of that is by actually trying to face those problems. Out. Yeah, so what about like being, is the answer to that like being present in the moment? I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a perfectly valid answer because I mean with, with spirituality and religion, there's almost no, there's no un un Definite valid answer. answer. Yeah. Um, but that's a perfectly valid answer. Uh, the way I would describe it more is it's not just being present in the moment, it's being at least aware of the situation, right? You can't, 
if you're in a situation where you've, you're in constant happiness, you at least need to take a look around the world around you and consider what other factors might be leading to that and what you might be missing because there's always, there's always going to be a problem somewhere for you to fix. Right. But that's just how the world works. Yeah. So what do you think the biggest difference between Taoism and Buddhism is? So with, Ta with Buddhism and the cycle of, from, from what I understand, because I am not a very spiritual person, um, a Buddhism is, a, is focused on spirituality and reincarnation. So the important criteria for Buddhism, if you want to go the monk route, is to break from that cycle. Because in Buddhism, the cycle of, as long as you're following within the cycle, you've experienced suffering and happiness within, within periods of those cycles and, and through uh, certain iterations of certain re reincarnations. Um, dependent on the animal you get or the situation you're in. The, the your dharma, yeah. Yeah, your dharma, it'll be different for you. But it'll still happen, right? Um, unless you try and break free of that spirituality as being a monk. However, Taoism is more focused on realizing that there needs to be at least a good balance. Um, it's unhealthy to think of, I want to break out of this, that this is just going to be a constant cycle. Um, but it's also unhealthy to think of it as like, I'm just always living the moment and I don't really care about the historical path. This, this only happened to people in history, it doesn't matter anymore. Looking at the, all the information you have, the data you have, is an important criteria in order to make sure that you can at least be aware of your situation and take that into factorization. And also trying to maintain an equal balance is a lot more important than trying to, you know, um, uh, focus yourself towards one point or another. Right. If I was constantly like, like living a constant like supermodel life is extremely difficult because they starve themselves, they have to push themselves to this ridiculous level, they, they have to regulate their diet much quicker. But going the opposite route and being, you know, eating everything you want and being 155 pounds is not a valid option. Right? There's, there's a, there has to be a balance somewhere in the middle of where true relaxation and peace lies. Yeah. Where if you're not being pressured too much on either side, it's not as problem. Right. That, that's okay. Right. That's great. So how do you find your happiness or your balance as you would, you like to define it? How do you, if you ever feel like you're unbalanced, how do you rebalance your, yourself? I'll answer that with reply hazy, try again later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because I have a final and that's, okay, yeah. that, that answer is not going to come to me. Do you like well. to play video games or work out or meditate or play, play piano? Play so. piano. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So I guess it's my turn to flip the camera around and talk about what my definition of happiness is and what I think it means. So happiness isn't something external. It isn't something you can buy. It isn't something you can fake. It's something that you have to go within to find. So that means it's completely internal. It means that people have all these ideas of what they think will make them happy enough money, a new car, a family, a nice house. And while those things are required for us to live and to survive, it's not where our true value comes from. What's really important is how we treat people and how we treat others and the kindness that we leave on this earth because the only thing that people are going to have left of us once our physical bodies are no longer here is the memories and the thoughtfulness, the consideration, the smiles. That's all they're gonna have left of us is the memory. So my goal before I pass away is to always leave the earth and people with more kindness than they have experienced than before they had met me. So if I'm walking or waiting for the bus and I see someone, smile at them. If somebody needs a ride and I am in a position to be able to give them a ride, to always find ways to be giving, to be nurturing, to be kind, to not seek positions of power, not seek corrupt thoughts and ideals, not fall into gossip, not fall into the trends, um, to never change who I am, no matter if it's not cool or trendy or fashionable, to be nice. It is. It's. It means so much more than your status in the world. 
being happy comes from how you treat other people. And I, I think that if you wake up and you have a positive impact on somebody, if you inspire someone, if you share a kind moment with them, if you encourage them, if you uplift them, if you change their life for the better, that's happiness. Because it's eternal. If something happened to where I couldn't go home or I lost my ability to talk or my consciousness was taken away, the people that are inspired by my actions, who were touched by my kindness or my heart or they enjoyed my friendship, they will always have that. I'll forever live in their hearts, you know? But if you leave a ripple effect where you're stealing from people, you're lying to people, you're cheating people, you leave a path of harm and hurt, a path of destruction. In Buddhism, you know, you can't escape karma. And it's not our job as humans to dish out karma. That's something that the universe does. Some things that I know make me happy. Animals, dogs, dolphins, fish, <laughs> nature, mother nature, being present outside. Ice coffee, ice coffee, sunshine, flowers, good music, warm air, fresh air, the smell of spring, the smell of rain, the smiles of your friends when you give them a gift that they love, a warm embrace, a chocolate chip cookie. Those might be temporary happiness, right? But eternal happiness comes from within. Being present and confident in myself and my abilities. <sighs> Having a strong sense of self. Having the confidence to say, this is who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am not. No matter if people misunderstand you, or try to speak ill on your name. It doesn't matter. It never will matter because the people who are here to only spread joy and love and to laugh with the world, they're not preoccupied with what other people are saying about them that's negative because they understand that everyone that's hurting, misery, loves company and they could just be projecting their insecurities onto you. It's a time when people are hurting within themselves or they don't understand you or they laugh at you or they critique you. It's because they don't understand your mission or who you are as a person and they are dealing with their own insecurities. And what happens is people will project their own self, negative self-talk onto others the people who are shining bright, those who have darkness within them, love to cast a shadow on that, that light because they're unfamiliar with what it's like to be enlightened. And I'm here to tell you, when you start shining, when you start taking care of yourself, when you start connecting with your higher power, not every day is happy, but it's important never lose hope, never lose sight of why you're a good person, don't change yourself for others. Don't, don't change your heart for others to be accepted. If you are loving and kind, it's okay if you get hurt. It's okay if you love someone more than they loved you and you had to let them go. Understand that people are their own beings. They have their own path to enlightenment and not everyone's on the same timeline I don't think that 
happiness is something that you can buy. I don't think it's a destination of, oh, once I achieve this goal or once I do this thing, I'll be regarded as worthy. I'm worthy in this moment right now, even without the success of what other people define as success. Everyone has a different idea of what success means to them. And for me, if I have clothes on my back, if I have food to eat, coffee to drink, people to share smiles with, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> then I'm pretty okay, even, even without those things. Because happiness is an inside job. It comes from within. It comes from appreciating and accepting and loving yourself no matter what stage you're in. It's not a one-stop shop. It's not a one-size-fits-all. Each of us have our own definition of what happiness means. But to me, having a close relationship with God, believing in myself, having confidence in myself, knowing that if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. That's happiness. Knowing that I'm trying my best every day to be a good person, even if I'm not perfect, even if I mess up, even if I fall short of my goals, God still loves me, my family still loves me, that I'm not defined by what other people think. Three bows, okay. What does Buddhism mean to you? Uh, well. I know my master first before I'm mm -hmm. the master. So um, I'm a, like, um, my family is with Buddhism, but I don't, you know, get to to know Buddhas until I met my master. And then I know Buddha much better now. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's a valid, um, he teach a lot of wisdom teaching. We call it teaching because, like, he is a very broad mind, you know, grateful for what, uh, what we have, you know. There's a lot of unfortunate people. So, we, m our master teach us, like, uh, we should be grateful for everything that we have um, and then try to help other people. And whatever you have, you know, it's to give is better than to receive. That's, that's a, <laughs> it's a good karma, right? Yes, uh -huh, yeah. It's, uh, we don't, even though if we have a little bit of stuff, you know, money or anything, happiness, mm -hmm. like smile, you know, that kind of thing, that you just give. If you don't have much, a smile is a valid 
So give in order to just give, yes. not to receive anything back. But the true beauty of giving, mm -hmm. giving. is to not yes. to bring more joy, more joy to other okay. people. So, yeah, that's yeah. a beautiful yeah. lesson. Please join me for a guided meditation. Find a quiet and comfortable spot. We begin to draw our attention to our breath, slowly recognizing our breath, inhaling deep through our nose, exhaling slowly and softly through our mouth. Slow breath in through your nose. Slowly start to concentrate on your breathing. Connect with your breath. Inhale through your nose, hold and release slowly through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. As you begin to focus on your breathing, you will notice that you will become more relaxed with each breath that you take, falling deeper and deeper into a state of relaxation, allowing all stresses, negative thoughts, intrusive thoughts to be let go. Allow your mind to settle into nothingness. Allow your mind to go blank. There is nowhere you need to be except present in this very moment, concentrated on your breath. Deep inhale through the nose. Pause, exhale slowly through the mouth. Slowly begin to picture the crown chakra beginning to open. White light is shining through your crown chakra the color blue might be shining through and you are healed of all of your self-doubt as we release the tension in our shoulders. We slowly get to make our way down to our third eye chakra and we picture a rainbow light glistening through our third eye chakra, allowing love, peace, happiness, joy, fulfillment to come into our lives. We are thankful for the present moment. We are not attached to outcomes. We are grateful for every lesson. With each deep breath, we are becoming more and more relaxed, more and more comfortable, settled into our body, grounded, comfortable, relaxed. Desire leads to suffering. Exhaustion from cyclical existence arises from greed and desire. One who has few desires and remains uncontriving is at peace in body and mind. Although this passage is very short, if we can do as it says, our body and mind will be as open and expansive as the ocean and the sky. Of course, most people would find this difficult to accomplish, but for a spiritual practitioner, it is very important to do so. The Buddha taught us a method to diligently advance. This method is to listen more and observe more. We can become awakened by putting the Buddha's teachings into practice. He sought the path for the benefit of all sentient beings and after his enlightenment, he shared his realizations with everyone in the world. So when we hear the principles of the Buddha's enlightenment, we must make an effort to comprehend them. In this way, regardless of how quickly or slowly we achieve awakening, we will continue to develop our wisdom and manifest our Buddha nature. 
Embarking on a journey of a thousand miles is superior to reading a thousand books. The more we see and hear, the clearer our direction and mission will be. Thus, we will not go astray. Otherwise, we will constantly be in a state of delusion, will be merely following the workings of our karma without ever becoming liberated from cyclical existence. The light that is within me bows to the same light that is within you. Namaste.